join me in welcoming Captain Gary Michael Rose to the White House. Ma'am, when we left MAXOC, which was a top secret organization, the, basically the unit did not exist. And it was not acknowledged for some almost 30 years. Mike saved this guy's life. Uh, the man should have died in that helicopter. But I had the opportunity, and I think it was in 1973 or 1974, a few years after after uh, Mike worked on him, and I had the opportunity to meet him at a Marine base with some of his other friends who participated in the operation with us, and had a couple of drinks with him, and the only visible signs, or the only signs that you could tell he had ever been shot, he had two scars under each earlobe about the size of half a dollar. I'm involved in, uh, with a lot of great people, and most of them, I might say, are veterans, both men and women. And we, we're in, I'm involved with the um, St. Vincent de Paul Society, Purple Heart, and uh, the Knights of Columbus. And, and uh, we try to, we have an attitude that we can't fix the nation, we can't fix the state, we can't even fix our city, but we can fix our neighborhood, our community. And so we can actually go out and go out and do something that day and at the end of the day we can actually see something physically that we've accomplished that just a little bit made that portion of our city a little better. Mm -hmm. 